Girls are probably all excited about the weather now, right? You can wear boots. It's October. It's boots time, it's right? It's fair. Fair game. Boots are fair game now. Right? That's, <laughs> it's very exciting. That's like the thing that all the girls are excited about. Right? Boots! Yay! Whip them out! Yeah, boots. Is this for, like, a foot guy? It's a disappointment? Uh, it's, it's not a, I mean, yeah, it's a disappointment, but it's also, it's a buildup for, like, it's such a great time when boot season is over. Because <laughs> you only got boot season over. early to be talking about that. Yeah, ball. I mean, you're, you're well into March, aren't you? You can still wear boots <laughs> up to March, I would think. Maybe, yeah. Uh, hey, Davina, you're on the air. Hi. Am I, am I crazy, or did you FedEx ship out your iPhone? <laughs> no, no, no. I got. Uh, I was. I. Sp- I have to tell you. I. I, I feel like I unraveled a, uh, a weird little thing yesterday, and I. And I feel like I'm going to upset somebody, and I don't want to upset them. But let me just tell you what happened. So you remember when my son's iPhone got stolen, right. and I called somebody I know at AT and T, and they said we're going to send you the LG three whatever. Right? Remember that? Mm-hmm. So the guy said this is on a Wednesday. The guy says it'll be there uh, on Friday. That was almost three weeks ago, and I never got the phone. The same time, remember I told you I'd become <laughs> friends with Richard, the FedEx guy? Yes. Yeah. And he wanted to meet with me, and we met, like, he tried to meet me three different times. Finally, he did meet me, and it was a multi-level marketing thing, and I said, I don't want any part of it. And I think I pissed him off, because I haven't talked to him since. Now, I'm not saying the two are related, but somehow, my FedEx package has been missing. And you had called, and the customer service representative was like, it's delivered. Yeah, they were saying it's delivered, and then and, and then I went to my wife went to the FedEx place, and they said we sent it back. And then um, I was on the phone with the people yesterday, saying, "Can you resend me the new phone?" Because they got sent back. The guy goes, "We didn't send it back. They didn't get sent back." And he goes, "I'm tracking it right now. It's still sitting there." So anyway, I go to FedEx yesterday, and after three weeks, I finally get the phone. But I felt like maybe Richard was a like. Upset at me and somehow <laughs> caused turmoil to make the package just disappear. A, just a little nod somewhere, a little check yeah. mark in the paperwork. That'll it could have been you. a little difficult. I think that something happened. You okay. can make, in whatever line of work you're in, you can make someone's path a little difficult. Sure. And I think he might have made this path difficult. So yesterday when I picked up the FedEx package for my son, I was all excited and I said something on Snapchat like, goodbye iPhone or something like that. But... Uh, and I, um, I didn't give it to my son yet. We didn't. We weren't, I want to be alone when I give him the phone. I think he'll be very excited about it, but... Anyway, I was at FedEx. I Snapchatted. I walk into FedEx. There's nobody there. Nobody. And there's two people working at FedEx behind the counter. Nobody says anything to me. And I'm standing there for a long time. So then I turn on my Snap, and I Snap both these people ignoring me. And I run out of Snap. Then I Snap it again. They ignore me. Then on the third Snap, the lady says, we'll be right with you. But I'm the only one in the place. <laughs> <laughs> like they're just sitting there on their little laptop, other computers doing whatever how, they're doing. How far up does this thing go? Yeah. Everybody knows to make it just a little more difficult. <sighs> sure, they'll help you eventually. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll tell you what happens. Richard, your FedEx guy, he told everyone at FedEx uh-huh. mm-hmm. to look out for the <laughs> likes of you. Well, I actually <laughs> dropped his name in the FedEx place. Mm-hmm. And they said, I said, do you guys know uh, Richard? Uh, uh, and they're like, because uh, he... You know, the FedEx place is kind of in my neighborhood. And uh, they said, well, there's a couple of Richards work here. I go, you know, the one that's friends with R. Kelly. <laughs> and right, they go, that one. she says, Woman's, the woman I'm talking to is African-American. And she says, black guy? I said, yeah, he's a black guy. And then the other guy working there is a black guy. He says, well, what, why do you think, to, to the woman, why, why do you have to say black guy? She goes, well, he's friends with R. Kelly. And then he looks at me and I go, I don't know why, you, know, you could be R. Kelly and friends with a white guy. <laughs> like, I, I, and then he goes, he looks at the girl, he goes, see? And I go, yeah. I go, I, I don't know. I have a couple friends that are black guys just because, you know, R. Don't Kelly. Don't look at me. I was just answering the question. Well, like, he was a weird little, <laughs> weird little dialogue between the two FedEx people. And then I was like, can I have my phone, please? <laughs>